Uh oh. No, that's a good boy. Taste the finger. I don't have food. Let me have your dingleberries, please, sir. Tomeo Humphrey, Kamanesh, my son! Oh, she's got me! She's got me! Boy! Woo! She's going, she's going through shed right now, but she's a real oh sweetheart. My God. Get Bagoy on you. Up, up. Good boy. Oh my God, so what do you cool. think, Renee? Everything you imagine? Yes. Ooh. Oh my God, he's beautiful. That and more. He's gorgeous. Yes. My, oh my, my God. beautiful he's boy, so Bagoy. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. What's going on, beautiful people? I'm just doing a tour here at Chandler's Wild World, which you guys can book right now. Go onto the website, chandlerswildlife.com, and you can book a tour and hang out with us. You guys ready to feed some crocodiles? Yes! All right. Yes. Let's go feed some crocodiles. Yes. Let's go! The new rescue gator who just started eating with us, Joby. Joby! Joby! Come on, big boy. I'm gonna give him the first piece and then you can feed him right after that. Joby! Come on! Woo! Come on, Joby! Come on! Woo! Almost got my hand, Joby! Relax! Come on, Joby! Woo! Big boy! Good boy! Woo! He's like a dinosaur! So, like I said, we're still training him. Let me just make sure there's a barrier between you guys. Chubby, and we see the mouth open enough? Just toss it right in. Boy, my bucket. No, the bucket. Come on, Chubby. Right in the mouth. There you go, Renee. Good job. How cool is that? And eventually, we're basically going to train him to sit there with his mouth wide open so it's nice and safe and you can walk right up to him. Oh, hold. Hold. Oi, hold. Good boy. Anywhere from 2,500 to over 3,000 pounds per square inch pressure in the jaws of a gator. And a croc can have over 4,000 pounds per square inch. Oi. Right there. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Ready? One more, buddy. One more. It's a little dirty. Good boy. Good boy. Oi, be good. Be, be a good gator. Be a good gator. Relax. Good boy. Good boy. We're going to build up a really good relationship as time goes on. Now I need him to back up. He needs to go to go back in the water. Back up. Back up, big boy. Back up, big boy. Come on. Back in the water. Good boy. Good boy. Woo! Give Chubby a round of applause. And uh, we're going to have to give him a good back scrubbing soon. Maybe you can come over and help me. <laughs> really? You said your mom lives nearby. You can Absolutely. get her to help too. How about we feed the croc that bit my leg? Absolutely. Let's, Let's go. go. Miss Toothy. What's going on, mama? Aries, big boy. How you doing? Pretty good, right? You ready? Yes. Let's feed yes. some crocs. Yes. We got this special rig. It's about an eight foot pole. And what we'll do is put some chicken on it. Get a little chuck. And all we got to do... Is just hook it right there, nice and easy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 you're excited. And all you gotta do is hold it by the very tip, dangle it. You can get them to jump and pop their jaws. See the full force of a croc, a Cuban croc. Miss Toothy, oh, woo! Oh, shit. oh, you dropped it. Oh, no. Renee! <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We're not gonna give up just yet. We're gonna get some more food. There we go. We just hooked that chicken real good so they can have a little bit of a feast. You got this, Renee. Miss Toothy. Come on. There you go, mama. Good job. Good job, Renee. Woo! Who's next? Aries. Uh-oh, Miss Toothy's getting it. <gasps> Miss Toothy has a loose tooth. Look, she has a loose tooth. Oh, it might come out. Do you see it? Oh, should I go in and try to pull it out with my fingers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's super loose. Oh, Aries. There's one piece of chicken they're missing that's on the floor. It's under his butt right there. Maybe I can go get it. Let's feed off the rest of this. Woo! Here we go, Aries. There we go. Oh no! Aries, get it quick! Aries, oh no! I'm so sorry, my buddy. No! <laughs> Don't worry, we still have one more left in here. And if I have to, I'll go ahead and feed the rest that he didn't get. Right? Is that okay? Oh, your tooth, look at that tooth. I should grab that tooth out with my fingers. Nah, that ain't a good idea. Aries! Woo! There we go, Aries. Come on, Aries! Come on, Aries! Oh! Oh! There we go! 
awesome. You what do you did. think? Right. That was fun. Thank you. That was great. Almost. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 All right. I won't let any food go to waste. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm gonna step in a spicy meatball right there. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Back in the water. Come on. There he's. Come on. Whoa! Good boy. Woo! -hoo. Was that good enough, Renee? Yes! Oh. Renee, you ready to feed some fish? Yes! Oh my god, feed the fish! Oh! Keep going! Oh! Oh my god, it's getting on the dock, Renee! Oh, Renee! 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 Oh! They're gonna be so well fed, Renee! Well, that was a little excessive. <laughs> so Renee has been very fearful of snakes for a very long time. And she says the channels helped her out a lot. Now she actually likes snakes, <laughs> but she's still very fearful. So just put your hands out. This is just a simple little ball python. Just hands out like that. There you go. Look at that little ball python. See, you're doing it, Renee. You're doing great. It's just a cute little snake. This is little kids have these as pets. And look, this he's not even a biter. Look, he hides his face when he's scared. They call them ball pythons because they tuck that head into the coils and wrap up in a tight ball. Isn't that cool? Yes. A little warm up. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Now I'm just going to give her the ball python. <laughs> right? And now we're going to get an eight foot bow constrictor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Here no, you're, go, good. Right? you're good. You're good. You got this. Mom. You got this. Over your shoulders, okay? Just turn around. Put your arms out. Woo! He's going, she's going through shed right now, but she's a oh, real sweetheart. Oh Put your hand out just to support the neck. Think of it as a scarf. Oh, you're Look doing great. You're doing so Isn't she sweet? <gasps> and you know what? This snake doesn't have a name. She was donated by a fan of the show. I think we're going to name her Renee. I yeah. think we're going to name her Renee. <laughs> this is a, a big boa constrictor, just red tail boa. They're found throughout Central and South America, and they give live birth. They're constrictors, so no venom, nothing to worry about. And they can make good pets, but they get big. We oh, gotta, oh, oh, oh. He's fine. He just wants to, she wants to give you a little kiss. Renee wants to say, I love you, Renee. Isn't that cool? You're doing it. You're doing it. And you know what you notice when you touch a snake? It's smooth. It's smooth. It's say we're scaly and rough. Yeah, so, so it depends on the species, but usually the snakes are smooth and they're dry. A lot of people think that snakes are slimy, but in reality, snakes can't produce sweat. So when they want to cool down, they go in the shade. But you and I, we get hot, we sweat. We're sweating right now from being outside. So technically, at the end of the day, humans are slimy and snakes are pretty clean. <gasps> How cool. Are you having a good time? Yes! You did such a good job, Renee. Give me a hug. Oh my god. <laughs> Love you, Renee. What do you guys think of Kevin? <laughs> Woo! He's a little cranky today. Oi! What do you think? Uh-oh. He's coming in hot. He's coming in hot. He's coming in hot, looking for a spot. Okay. Relax, big boy. Relax, big boy. Boy, don't bite me. He's investigating, but an investigation can turn into a bite. Just taste the finger. I don't have food. Taste it. You behave. Hmm? Scoo! Did you have a good time, Renee? I did! Thank oh. you! Hell yeah! What about you guys? <laughs> yeah! All right, let's get these palms all cut and ready to go. We're gonna put them in the crock tubs so these crocodiles have a good hiding spot. We can finally put Anakin in his new outdoor enclosure so he can start getting that natural sunlight and then he's gonna start growing like a little weed. Biggest croc on the planet, biggest reptile on the planet. All it needs is good sunlight, food, and space. And that crocodile is gonna be 10 foot before you know it. Let me get this lifted up into the truck. What are you doing, Miss Toothy? Can I have that tooth? Isn't that so cool? They lose teeth just like sharks and they go throughout thousands of teeth in a lifetime just like sharks do as well. So they're always replacing them with caps underneath. How cool is that? All right, good to go. Just put a bunch of holes about like a foot high on all these tubs. Those are overflow holes. So if you guys keep like turtles or any aquatic animals in these tubs with mesh tops, if you have a really bad rainy season come through like we do here in Florida, uh, the water will overflow through those holes versus going all the way to the surface and basically it could kill your animals if your animals can't get air. So 
I know people who have not put holes in their tubs and basically their animals drown in a bad storm. Always put holes so you can have an overflow and you don't drown those animals. And don't worry, I got some company. Aries is making sure I do everything right. Big boy. They'll be protecting all these babies in this area. So if anyone tries to sneak over here and they cross the wrong fence, they're dead. All right, beautiful people. We got this whole area that's gonna be renovated. We're gonna basically tear it all down and maybe make a bird enclosure here. So we're gonna slowly move out all the crocodilians. We got our new tubs ready for the broad snout and the smooth front so they can have a bigger area. Look how big Bridget is. She ate so much shrimp the other day. She looks massive. Look at how big she is. Oh my goodness. We just try to do this without getting too. There we go. Relax, relax, relax. Oh! Look how big Bridget is. Oh, she's a beast. Oh, yo, 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 tranquila. Let's see. What's going on with that cloaca? I still don't see a willy. I'm still in belief that we have a female broad snouted caiman. So now we just need to work on getting a male. Look at that. Look how big she is. When we first got this broad snout caiman, oh, I'm sorry. That's the distress signal to a parent saying, oh, mom, come kill this guy, please. He's annoying. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry. Broad snout caiman called the broad snout caiman because that freakishly broad snout, which will continue to stay broad and short throughout its whole life, these guys can get about seven, eight feet as a male, and females are usually about five and a half to six plus feet, so she won't get too big. But my big goal, my big, big goal is to get her a boyfriend so we can breed the broad snouted caiman here at Chandler's Wild World, a beautiful species of caiman from South America. All right, Miss Toothy, you got a new neighbor. Bridget the broad snout. What's going on, Aries? Big boy. So this is where my smooth front caiman and broad snout will go for now. More space. Ooh, look at her. She is such a beast of a caiman. She puts me on edge, just like dealing with a Cuban crocodile. She's gnarly, she's fast, and she does not mess around. Oh, she's settling down, look at that. Perfect. Gotta be careful with her, because she likes to launch up, and one time she actually launched up at me and bit my thumb really bad and split me open. Probably could have used some stitches, but ah, let it heal naturally with the oxygen and stuff. Let's go get the smooth front put in there too. Woo! It's always tough grabbing a smooth front caiman because they've got these wicked osteoderms on their neck that are super sharp. It's hard to tell on this guy, he's super green, but they're actually a brown and reddish coloration. He's just covering all this algae from the sun. Really pretty animal, but they're so tough. They're the most heavily armored crocodilian of all of them. So that neck is pure spikes. It hurts when you grab them on the neck. What's up, dude? He bit me a couple years ago. Wasn't fun. Phew. How oh, cool, what a dinosaur. Let's get you in with uh, Bridget. Ooh, crank. Oh, okay. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Ooh, gotta pull back real quick. Takes a split second to get ripped up. And I know this because I've been popped that way. Not letting go quick enough. Having a croc turn around and rip open the top of your hand. And it takes only one or two teeth to sever a tendon. And then you lose mobility of those fingers. I need my phalanges. And here we have Anakin, the saltwater crocodile. He is a gem and the future mascot for this facility. Aries, right behind me. Right now, he's the biggest croc on the property. He's about 10 feet long. Big, but not big for a crocodile. Anakin, being a saltwater crocodile, the biggest reptile on the planet, he has the potential to hit over 18 feet long. On average, they get 16 to 18 plus feet, but the record is over 22 feet long, low long, the saltwater crocodile from Southeast Asia. And this is a golden boy, so he's gonna be a big golden dragon. And now that we're gonna have him out in the sunlight, he's gonna become a beast. I love you, Anakin. Let's get him right into his new tub. He's got all this beautiful space. And what's crazy about Anakin is even though he's a, a croc, and they can be bitey. He's got a really good demeanor. He's not a feisty saltwater croc. So honestly, he might end up just being a big chill croc that I can just walk up to feed and maybe sit on his tail. Maybe not, we'll see what happens. All right, now we're gonna set this up for the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman, our young female, which is the future mate for our big male Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. So let's get this all sorted out and I'll see you guys in a split. It doesn't really work when we're not in the snake room. This doesn't even hurt. All right, so we just started draining the tub. We took out the platform. Now we just got to get out the little Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. 
I don't think we ever named her, so if you guys want to comment below a good name, this is the world's smallest crocodilian. They only get about five feet long. And she's with her friend, the Amazon River Turtle, the giant Amazon River. Slowly. It's okay, mama. Oh, she's really cranky. Let me just wet the towel so it sticks to her face. She's not having it today. Look how she's arching her face, her back, and everything. Woo! So the easiest way to get a little crocodilian like this is always just to cover the face. And then go for a quick grab. Typically not trying to get croc poop water in your eyes when you're wearing contacts, but that's good. There we go. Oi, oi, relax. There we have a beautiful Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman, female, getting really big, and hopefully we'll be putting her with Fred, our big male Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman, so we can have a breeding pair of the world's smallest crocodilian here at the facility. All right, let's go get her to a new tub. Giant Amazon River Turtle back. <laughs> he was just struggling again, the water. That was funny. All right, let's hope that she is nice and smooth. Nice and easy. There we go, mama. She's got all this space for herself. I know, you're cranky. Go in the water. There you go. Yeah, I know. One day you're going to have a boyfriend. Don't worry, Mama. I got you. So we're going to lock all this stuff up. I need to make sure Kameo's good. Go give him some love and attention. And then let's go clean up Justina because she's pooped a lot after eating that python recently. So it's a fun jam-packed day. Come, Kameo. I am the royal dingleberry collector. Let me have your dingleberries, please, sir. What dingleberries do you have in store for? Oh, it's picking season. Looks like we've got a couple of ripe ones right here. Let's see. Let's, oh, settle down, settle down. Look at this, a ripe dingleberry. Just gotta grab that real quick. And take it and put it in the chalice. There we go. Another one, hmm. It is pretty, pretty good dingleberry season, getting a lot more than I expected. Goodness grief. Oh, look at that. A tiny one, but a savory one indeed. Let's see, what else we got in there? Huh, three dingles this season. That's it, well. I guess I'll just go make myself a tea. <laughs> Cheers. All right, I ain't using these dingleberries for nothing. I'm gonna put these down and give my cameo a big old hug. I'm sorry, buddy. I had to give a bunch of tours today. I had to move the crocodiles around. I love you. Cameo Humphrey Kamanesh, my son. I love him so much. We're still waiting for another male to be born from the facility he came from. So hopefully in the next month or so, we can go get him a buddy. But for now, we hang out with him every day. He gets three bottles. No, that's the royal chalice for the dingleberries. Cameo, not for you, for me. You get the finest milk. Kiss me, Cameo. Oh. <laughs> I've never had a wild animal kiss me so passionately. I just want to pick you up and hold you, my sweet boy. Oh, he's faster than I remember. Oh, oh. 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 Same time tomorrow. My big beautiful boy. Oh, I love having a camel. Gets away from the royal chalice. Last part of the day, it's been a lot. We had a tour, we had a lot of animals to move around, rearrange some enclosures, and now we're gonna end it with taking care of Justina. She, ooh, really cranky today. Uh, well, she's cranky all the time. Justina ate a python not too long ago, so she's been pooping every day. When they eat pythons, they digest them and they literally poop them out every day for about a week. Phew, look how thick she is. She does not care about me. This is a real king cover right here. I love having a king cover that's defensive. And I like to have a chill king cover because I want people to see how they can be very defensive and posture up, show them what a real king cover is about. But also, ooh, I can hear her growling. But also, ooh. I like to show people how nice and gentle they can be. They're uh, not just voracious predators that hunt down other cobras and eat rat snakes and reticulated pythons, but these snakes are incredible parents. They, they'll build nests using nothing but their coils and build a three foot nest and guard it like a mother crocodile. They're such incredible animals. That's why they're my favorite snakes on the planet. Gotcha. Gotta get her to look a little bit in a different direction. Gotta work with her, get her to move. Oh. Whoosh! Yikes! Wee! She's cranky. Look at that. Beautiful 
Indonesian king cobra. Some people, weesh, some people believe that Indos are the crankiest, oi, are the crankiest of the kings. But you know what? It's all about the individual's personality because I met an Indonesian king cobra that was super laid back. He was a big boy. Ay, osmio. You're on one today, huh? Ah, oh, mama. Look at her. She, whee! You see how she opens her mouth, flares that tongue out? And if you were to be here in the room, you'd feel that growl that she's doing right now. They have an incredible growl. And I'm paying attention to her eyes, her muscle movement. Whee! Look at that. What a beautiful king cobra. I love her so much. And if I hung out with her a little bit more, I just gave her the chance to relax. She might not be as cranky, but she's still a cranky girl. <laughs> All right, let me just get her into the can. Whew, that's a big girl. Nice and easy. Ooh, watch out. There we go. Hey, you are cranky today, huh? Can I get you to go in? All right, long day. Don't want to mess around too much. Gonna to clean out all this poop. Uh, no meatballs, but a little bit of a slew, a stew everywhere. So I'm gonna to have to clean and spray this all down. I'll see you guys in a split. Smooth, ow. All right, the enclosure's nice and clean. We can put the queen back in her kingdom. She's kind of just hiding her head right now. Look at that. East. Oh, I love this snake so much. What an incredible animal. King Cobras are definitely my favorite snake on the planet. Oh, she's got me! She's got me! Oi! Gotta unwrap her. There we go. They're so cool. I love. Oi! Oh. Oh my. and easy. Sudden movement gets the attention of the king. That's why she opens her mouth when I throw my hands up like that. I just know how to read their body language and predict their next move because working with them for so long allows you to do that. It's okay, mama. It's okay. Relax. Relax. I love king cobras. You know, I don't want you guys to ever see these videos and think that these animals are pets. They're not. And I, I gotta clarify sometimes, because you guys see me with these animals and I treat them all lovey-dovey. And I do, I, I love my animals. I really do. But these are not pets. I worked really hard to get the permits to own these animals and use them for educational purposes. I wanna breed certain species for conservation work. I just wanna preserve these animals and get people to love them, just like I watched Steve Irwin growing up, learning to love them as well. So please don't ever think these animals are pets. Crocs, venomous reptiles, none of this stuff should ever be considered a pet. Bears, tigers, all that stuff. If you want to work with animals like this, the best thing you could possibly do is go get your foot in the door at a zoo or sanctuary or a venom lab and learn from a mentor. Don't try to wing it. If you try to wing it with a king cobra, you're gonna die. They have enough venom to take down a bull elephant. What makes you think you're gonna survive the bite? Right? Me, I know what kind of danger I put myself into. So I'm sweet. I'm perfectly fine with doing it again and again. And you guys have seen it with the crocs. Oh, yeah. You guys have seen with the crocs. I don't give up. This is what I live for. So I'm gonna keep doing it oh, yeah, until I'm gone. Because that's what you do when you love something in life. You pursue it with all the love in your heart and you stay passionate about it. Because if you stay passionate about what you love, oh, yeah, if you stay passionate about what you love, and you're good to everyone around you, everything will fall into place. Look at this facility. Look at what I was able to do just in the past few years. This was just like a garage. And now it's uh, a famous serpentarium that people pay to come and see. So I'm blessed. Thank you guys for supporting my journey. 
All right, settle down. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. Don't forget, you can book a tour on challengewildlife.com. Also, just follow your dreams. Stay happy and keep everyone around you smiling. Love you guys. Bye. Tonight. Tonight.